in Creo Parametric, you can use part simplified reps in order to reduce the retrieval and regeneration time of complex part models with lots of features and complex geometry. And quite honestly, this is functionality that has decreased in need over the past couple decades. If you think about 20 years ago, computer RAM used to be measured in megabytes. Now we are in gigabytes. And so we haven't really needed those, although we still use simplified reps at the assembly level. However, in Creo Parametric 7.0, it sounds like part simplified reps are going to be used more in conjunction with the multi-body functionality in order to control the display and regeneration of bodies within a part model. For that reason, let's take a look at how to use part simplified reps. Here I have a part model over here. You can see that it's got quite a few features, quite a lot of geometry in here. And let's say that I want it to be faster in my computer. To create a simplified rep at the part level, you do it pretty much the same way as in an assembly. You can go to the view manager, and when I open it up, it takes me to the simplified rep tab. As of Creo Parametric 4.0, you have the master rep and the automatic rep. If you are in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, you'll see things like the graphics rep and the geometry rep. To create a new part level simplified rep, I will click on the new button and I'm going to call this one features based on the method I'm going to use in a moment. And I'll hit the enter key and that'll give you the menu, menu manager with four different choices. The first one in here is attributes. And here you can set the default rule as to whether you want to include all the features in the model or exclude the different features. Then you have a couple of choices whether you want to regenerate or accelerate in terms of retrieving this simplified rep. The default is regenerate. What that means is that it'll pull up the master rep of your part and then generate the simplified rep based on the definition. So here's the thing about the regenerate option. It'll actually take longer to retrieve that part level simplified rep, but then it'll be faster. In order to have a faster retrieval time, there's this other option here of accelerate. And when you have accelerate, you can use either whole model or geometry snapshot. Accelerate will actually create an accelerator file, and it is going to be the same name as the part with a .xrp extension. The whole model option means that you're going to get all the parametric information. You're going to get all the features, all the attributes, all the options, all the dimensions, and you'll actually be able to make changes to the whole model accelerated part simplified rep with that .xrp extension. Instead, you could choose Geometry Snapshot, in which you'll get a non-parametric version of the geometry. You won't be able to use Edit or Edit Definition. Now, with using this Accelerator file, that's going to give you another file that you have to manage. But for the purposes of where we are going, especially with Creo Parametric 7.0, I think you're fine leaving the defaults of Include, Feature, Regenerate, and Whole Model. Let's click Done out of here. Now we have three different methods for creating our simplified rep. First, let's take a look at features. And with features, here you have the ability to choose which features you want to exclude from the simplified rep. And so what I can do is I can say, hey, let's pick some of these different features. You'll notice I get an additional column in the model tree that shows me that this feature is now excluded. And I want to just exclude all the different rounds because I can see that there are a lot of fillets in here. They're probably going to slow everything down. Let me use the Find button. I'm going to look for Features by Type. Here we have the value set to Round. Let me click Find Now. Let's select all of them using the Control A and then move them over to the selected items list and close. And that way it's just a quick way I can exclude all the different rounds in the model. You can see all the ones that are no longer going to be in here. In order to see what the model will look like now, I'm going to choose Update Screen and then give it a moment to 
update the screen. And you can see that was actually a little bit on the slow side, but we obviously have less geometry in here. If I wanted to, I could pick some other different features to exclude. And you'll notice that it automatically added some other features as necessary. One of the things about excluding features is that in a lot of cases, if you exclude a feature that has children, the children will be able to regenerate, but not always. But anyhow, that's all I want for this one. Let's click the OK button and then done. And that way we have our part level simplified wrap. Let me click done out of here. And again, we can see that we have less complicated model in here with this particular part level simplified wrap. So the idea is that we should see an improvement in computer performance. Let's go back to the automatic rep and it brought back all the different fillets. Let's now create a, another simplified rep using the second option. I'll click the new button, and this one I'm going to call work region because that is the name of the method, and hit the enter key. And here we have the menu manager. Let's use work region, and with this particular option, you get an additional menu for different commands that you can use in order to remove a portion of the geometry. You can create an extrude, revolve, sweep, blend, or use quilt. Then we have this advanced option in here. Most of the time when I use part level simplified reps, I use the extrude option to remove material. So let's click done out of the menu manager. And now we have the ribbon tab for creating an extrude feature. Let me select the surface that I want to sketch on. And I'm just going to use the default sketch references. Let's sketch a rectangle. Normally, I would use sketch references in order to lock it into geometry, but I'm just going to eyeball it in this particular case. Then let's use the right mouse button to get to the green check mark. And now you can see a preview of the geometry that's going to be cut away. I'm actually going to remove what's on the outside of the sketch. And going to change the depth of the feature by right-clicking on the depth drag handle to through all. And this way I'm removing most of the model and I'm just going to leave a sliver of what was originally there. Now I will click the check mark in order to complete my extrude feature and then click done return out of the menu and then I can close my view manager and the idea behind a work region is that if you've got a really big part you can limit the area that you are seeing on the computer screen and so hopefully you're going to see some improvements in the repaint time uh, but your mileage may vary now let's take a look at the third option for creating a part level simplified rep Again, I will go to the view manager, click the new button. And the third option is surfaces. So I'll use that as the name of my part level rep. Hit the enter key. And now from the method drop down or method menu, I will choose surfaces. And this is probably the fastest method that you have. If you take a look at the ribbon, essentially what you're doing here is a copy and paste. And I'm just going to select the mounting surfaces from this model. Like these are, these are the ones that I want to use for people to see at a higher level of the assembly in terms of what's necessary to interface. And let's select a few more out of here. Now let's select that one there. And that one. And that's good. So once I'm done selecting the different surfaces, you can hit the check mark. By the way, let me show you the interface. For here from the References tab, this is where you will select the different surfaces. If you click on the Details button, you could use one of the more advanced selection methods. For example, if you wanted to use something like Loop Surfaces or Seed and Boundary, or just grab all solid surfaces, you could do that from here as well. But let's cancel out of there. If I go to the Options tab, you'll see the same different options that you have if you perform a copy and paste of surfaces, like exclude certain surfaces and fill holes, copy inside of boundary, untrim to envelope, and untrim to domain of definition. But this is good. Let's hit the check mark out of there. And you can see what we are left with by using the surfaces option. It's going to be a lot faster than if I was using all the geometry. But let's go back to the automatic rep and close out of here. 
and then we'll hop over to an assembly to see how to use the part simplified rep at a higher level. So here I am in an assembly that has that particular component. I can select the component, and if I right mouse click and hold from the pop-up menu, you can choose the representation option. And here's where you can exclude the component, specify that you want to use the master rep or the automatic rep, but in this case, I will click on user defined, and here we can select those different simplified reps that were created at the part level. First, I will select features and then click OK. And now we have the part level simplified rep. Now, when you have a part simplified rep applied, one interesting thing I noticed, if I hold down the right mouse button and then choose representation and then user defined, for some reason it doesn't bring up the menu. You're going to have to select the component out of the model tree. Then when you choose representation and user defined, then you can say, hey, right, let's use the work region. And I'll click the OK button. And that way we have that cutaway version of it. Let's do the surfaces one now. Right click, representation, user defined. And I will select surfaces and then click OK. And that way we are just using that much lighter weight part level simplified rep. So you may find use of part simplified reps as a way of making really large assemblies operate a bit faster. Where I actually use part simplified reps the most is in simulation in order to de-feature a model before performing structural, thermal, or modal analysis. But again, in Creo Parametric 7.0, it's good to be familiar with part level simplified reps, especially using that features option when you start using multi-body modeling. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.